Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to set up Bungie Court with other types of Minecraft servers. Bungie Court is universal between 1.8 and all the way through to 1.16.4 so there's no need to download any different individual versions of Minecraft. Okay so let's get on with the tutorial shall we. So I'm going to assume that you already have a Minecraft server already set up no Minecraft server, okay. Now I'm just going to teach you how to install Bunch Code and set it all up correctly, okay. So we're going to type in Bungie Code for Minecraft, okay. And it's going to be the Spigot MC link. If you're following this, if you don't want to follow this, I've got all this stuff in the description below on how to where to download the, the latest version of Bungie Code and the bat file to use, which we'll see shortly. If you follow me, you just go to Dana's page on this one, and then you click bungiecore.jar and you download it. Now head to your downloads folder, and you'll see bungiecore.jar. We're going to rename that to server.jar instead, okay? And we're going to make a new folder on the desktop instead. That's just watch where I want to save it. Okay. Now put the server.jar in there. Okay, and we're going to make a new file. Okay, now before we start, you know, we're going to click view. I'm going to make sure file name extensions are on. Okay, so new text document, and we're going to put in start.bat. So we're going to delete everything and put start.bat. It'll pop up with this. Just click yes. Okay. And now we're going to right click and click the edit button. Okay. So I'm going to open my old one as well. So I'm going to put this in the description below so you can use it for yourself. I'll have to type it out manually. Okay. I'm going to paste it in and you're going to click save. And we're going to close this. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open it. Okay, and then it's going to start, start, keep on starting up. Okay, and then it's going to initialize. Gonna type in end. Okay, and then it's going to close the bunch of code server. Now we've got some extra files here. And we're going to open Notepad or your preferred text editor of choice. Okay, we're going to open. We're going to find the bunch of code server. Okay, and we're going to open the config yml folder and if you're using notepad just on the bottom right where it says text documents change that to all files and then you'll see config.yml open the config.yml file and you'll see all this it may look different depending on what version of bunch code you are using so you have the host and the server query port okay we're going to change these two ports to so set it as 25565 as that is the default port used by minecraft we're going to save it and close out of it. Okay. And now we can start that back up. Okay. Now, what we can do is we can open our server. Okay. And we're going to change a few things. Okay. So just open Notepad again. Or the text editor of choice. Okay. And then we're going to find your main server. And then we're going to go to the all files again, okay, and we're going to serve it our properties, okay, right. There's two things you need to change in here. You need to make sure online mode is set to false, okay, online mode is set to false, and we're going to change the port away from 25565 to something else. So 25566 for the query port and 25566 for the server port, okay. Or whatever you wish to use. Save that, okay? And then save and then open the server up using the, your already existing start file, whatever you use. Okay. It's gonna load up and while we wait for that, I'm gonna open Minecraft and I'm just gonna open the client ready. Okay, so the server is starting. Okay. okay the server started. So now the bunch of code server and the normal server is now up. Okay, right, we're just going to wait for Minecraft to open. Here we go, it is opening now. Uh, 
comments. I'm waiting for it to look fully load. Okay, right, there we go. We're going to click multiplayer, and then we're going to, if you're, we can delete that one, okay, and then we're going to click add server, okay, and then we can just put localhost. Uh, if you've set up your bunch of calls server differently, uh, for example, if you have port forwarded, um, or if you're using like a hosting service like Oxide Hosting, um, you would use the IPv address, the IP address given uh, instead of putting localhost. But in my case, because the server is hosted on my computer, it'll be localhost. There's no need to put the port, as Minecraft's default port is 25565, hence why that's why I put it on the bungee cord server port. Okay, I'm gonna click done, and here it is. Um, so now we're just going to, oh, wait, did I not set that up correctly? Um, ah, uh, my apologies, since I've made a mistake. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to edit the config.yml file, okay? Go to notepad or your preferred editor of choice and click open, head to your bungee cord server and open the config.yml file, okay. You need to change the servers, the address. So just use the address, what the server is located on. In this case, it's localhost 25566, not 25565. We're going to then put end in the Bungie Code console. Okay, and we're gonna start it up again. And now that it's started, I'm going to refresh and we're going to join. And now we are in the server. Okay, so that's worked successfully. And if we look, yep, yeah, there we go. I've connected through here and let's put me in here. Okay, so if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and uh, share it. Also bookmark it in case you need to use it again. Thank you for watching and goodbye.